Paul Warren might be cooking with this potential signing. There's been some rumours going around today coming from Alan Nixon of The Sun that are reportedly saying that Derby County are interested in Stockport County forward Louis Barry, a player who is on the books at Aston Villa right now on loan at Stockport. He's had some unbelievable times in his career. He's been through some amazing times as well playing for Barcelona but is he going to find his way to the East Midlands is he going to find himself at Pride Park Stadium I think it would be an absolute amazing deal for Derby County shall we get in to looking at why so as stated in the title the thumbnail and the intro to this video Derby County are chasing a deal for Stockport County and Aston Villa forward Louis Barry a very, very good player in my opinion. Someone who could ultimately massively improve the front end of this Derby County side. Now, looking at Louis Barry, he is 21 years old. Born in June 2003. And Aston Villa want a championship loan for the forward. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Check out Kitbag in the description as well. Now... Obviously, with Louis Barry, he spent a lot of time at Stockport and he's had some really, really good seasons. And this one has been just like the rest. He's had some unbelievable times this year, scored some absolutely wonderful goals. And that is something which Derby County are missing at the moment. It's a goal scorer, someone who can find the onion bag. And can Louis Barry add to Derby County? Can he come and join the squad and make a difference? Now, if it's a loan signing, we know we're going to have to let players go. But we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. Now, if we look at his career, Current season, he's played 20 games, scoring 15 goals, collecting one assist and two yellow cards. An unbelievable start to his campaign in League One, and he's done a really, really good job, in my opinion. We look further to his career as a whole. He's played for teams like Stockport, MK Don, Salford, uh, Swindon, Ipswich, Barcelona, West Brom, uh, and now Aston Villa. He obviously went over to Barcelona. Uh, I think it was just before COVID, and then obviously COVID hit, which obviously changed what his experience would have probably been like had he gone uh, a little bit sooner and for me I think he's an unbelievable player over the course of his career 168 appearances including his youth minutes as well 10,455 goals six uh, minutes sorry 61 goals 20 assists 10 yellows one red card now if we look at where he's played over the course of his career, he's played all across the forward line, mainly on the left-hand side, 52 appearances, 21 goals, 10 assists. He's played down the middle 35 times with 25 goals and 4 assists. Right and left, 17, 3 and 3, 9, 2 and 1. And then obviously the others as well on the list. And I think he'd be an excellent addition for Derby County. I think in my personal opinion, some of our players have got complacent over recent weeks, which in my opinion is uh, limiting our performances. The likes of Mendes Lang, the likes of Caden Jackson haven't been putting in the performances that we should expect. Now... This is obviously his positional chart of where he can play, which will obviously be massive for Derby County. Playing across that front three and in that midfield role, I think he could have a massive, massive impact on Derby County. Now, the big question is, how would we get him and how would he fit in? Now, we'll get in a little bit later to the interest that he's facing from other championship clubs. But for me, there's two big conversation topics. Should Derby County send David Ozo back to Crystal Palace? Should we replace... To Wanda Chiwa. In my opinion, both of the answers to those questions are yes. We're going to have a video about that uh, coming up over the next few days, probably after the Burnley game. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that by hitting that subscribe button. But for me, we've got to open up squad slots. He is going to take up one of the forward roles, whether that be number 10 or across the front three. And for me, that is why I'd get rid of Tawanda Chiwa. Uh, send him back to Wolves, bring in Louis Barry, bolster that forward line. The midfield needs work 100%. But ultimately, Tawanda Chiwa doesn't play. Is taking up a squad slot at the moment. And for me, I think we need to change uh, who is in the squad. And Chiwa, for me, is one who should go back to his parent club. And that would allow Louis Barry to come in and not put any restrictions on the squad we put out. Which obviously is absolutely massive for Derby County and for, obviously, Louis Barry. He's gonna, he would play every game. If he joins Derby County, he would play every single game. Because he would probably be better than everything we've got. And that's just one of those things. Now, how would this deal work? It would obviously be a loan deal until the end of the season. That's what Derby County can expect. 
and it does, does add depth in the forward line, which is exactly what we need. Also adds an extra option into that number 10 role because he can play there as well. So there's a load of different things that Louis Barry can bring to the table for Derby County. But what is going to happen now? It's a big, big question. There's a lot of championship interest, mainly from the likes of Middlesbrough and Sheffield Wednesday. Now, this is where I feel Derby County could be uh, in front of everybody. He will play every week for us. There is no shadow of a doubt he would play every single game. And for me, that as a player would mean more to me than playing for uh, a promotion team, let's say. If he can come in and play the last 23 games of the season, maybe missing a couple um, for fatigue reasons or whatever, then I think that's much better than playing 10, 15 games off the bench, uh, on and off the bench, for a Middlesbrough who are chasing promotion or a Leeds United chasing promotion or a Sheffield Wednesday in mid-table. So it, it, it's a big question. There's a lot of things that need answering when it comes to the likes of Louis Barry and to Derby County's squad depth. What are they going to do with it? It is a big, big question. Obviously, um, we play Burnley later on today. Uh, you will have seen my preview yesterday. There'll have been a live stream yesterday evening as well talking all about that. So go and check those out if you haven't done so already. But for me, I think Louis Barry would be an excellent addition to this squad. Now, we've been poor in recent weeks and it's mainly been the forward line and putting the ball into the back of the net. Would he make that better? In my opinion, yes. And that is something that we need to improve. And it's something that, in my opinion, we will improve during this January window. But it's all about, will Paul Warren be given the budget, be given the opportunity to improve those areas? Will Paul Warren even be the manager come January 1st? That is a big question that is on a lot of people's lips right now. And obviously, you look at that squad depth chart right now. Obviously, Niambi's out injured. Um, obviously, Ozo's out uh, Chiwa, no idea what's going on with him. Rooney doesn't seem to get a look in. It looks as if he's going to go out on loan. But there's plenty of opportunities for Louis Barry to come to Derby County and to make up the numbers and potentially score a ton of goals in the championship in a survival season for Derby County. Now, obviously, there's no guarantees that this deal will go ahead. There's no guarantees we'll even make an offer. But for me, it would be an absolute amazing deal for Derby County. I think a lot of you will agree. There'll be a poll over on the community tab. Let me know your thoughts on whether you think this would be a good deal or not. Obviously, there's also going to be a poll over there. Back from Sunday, where I asked the question, should Paul Warren still be Derby County manager? There's a lot coming to the channel. There'll be a live stream across the course of evenings this week. Uh, there will have been one yesterday, probably one today after the Burnley game. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments on what you think that result is going to be. And if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. Drop a ram in the comments for the sake of engagement. And I'll catch you in the next video.